Oh, let's start with this. Get away at the Starfield Upscaler mod with the deal SS. It got 117 on post downloads in two days. The game isn't even fully released yet. And this goddamn performance mod has over a hundred thousand goddamn downloads. And if you don't know how much that is a big compared to something else, here we have Star Wars Jedi Survivors made a performance be with you. Star and performance improvement. So their mod with 65 downloads and this game is out for four months it didn't start up for me that badly other people apparently had more and better start up with this goddamn mod but starfield ain't even out yet officially two days of early access so not even all the sales came in and it already has 116 goddamn thousand downloads Views 405, let's say views 207, so that's already double than what Star Wars Shadow Survivors had. And Star Wars Shadow Survivors was not a little game, that's a goddamn Star Wars game. That's how bad the performance is and how many people have performance issues with this game. Okay, that's something I wanted to show off first. Let's get into the other stuff that I've just tested over the couple, two days. And that's, let's get the music out of here, the screen recording, this folder, let's throw it up. Ah, oh, I have an old notebook. That old notebook is like five to six years old. I don't use it for gaming anymore. The specs are bad, yeah, this quality video, that's also not a good quality. But it's a GTX 1700 and my... PC has RTX 380 and processors are also way better and advanced but Starfield runs on this goddamn notebook flawlessly but it doesn't run on my goddamn expensive PC because it still doesn't lag so it's just a weird thing the more expensive PC the PC cost 3300 and something the notebook five to six years ago costed 1700 and the notebook is complete crap it's an MSE notebook but it never gave me a good experience and the combats on the notebook have uh, 30 fps it runs at 30 fps very much ah uh, there's me playing and testing it i'm zooming in on the fps in a second Blah. 30 it runs at 30 so that's not good either but it runs in decent quality settings flawlessly without stutter i didn't have a single stutter and that is just not the case with my expensive pc oh, and i i don't i don't quite know it's like russian roulette the starfield russian roulette if your pc can handle it or not you, you don't know nobody knows the highest gear setups might be capable of handling it or they have start on lag like I had and it's just cursed I won't let's play on that notebook that notebook has such a loud goddamn fan that it's just not doable oh, I can't show you that right now that's my notebook it's old it has a loud fan that's where all the recording my voice ain't possible that's my big pc don't mind the cable management, I give a don't give a damn about it. Let's see, I don't want to blast you years with that, it won't be as loud in person, but you will recognize it if you record it with a mic. Yeah, okay, that was bad. That was bad. On my notebook, on my notebook. It's, of course, it doesn't look as sharp and as good, the notebook can couldn't handle it that well it runs smooth 30 fps but it's just not the highest quality i early in my notebook days played metro exodus and i could play that for one hour and then my pc would just overheat and freeze and almost explode but stuff it runs smoother on this got them um, 1700 euro notebook than my 3000 plus pc with better graphics cards 
a better graphic card, a better processor. But no audio box, no legs. It's it's it makes no sense, and I don't know why that shit happens. Uh, I tested multiple things, it, it compared it, but it just it just runs smooth, yo. I I don't know why. It's apparently Bethesda is kind of weird with those things with Fallout 4, 2K Pro, the uh, 2K screens had a 2x faster running animation which is also weird but Bethesda apparently couldn't program that right for higher quality monitors and the 2k monitor gave you 2x running speed so where is my Starfield gameplay from my let's play there I'll turn it down but that's from my high quality PC the graphics look way nicer but the data and audio glitches are just the worst thing ever and I didn't know how to use the laser and you can see quality might be better graphics wise also this was 2k resolution and on the notebook it's the notebook resolution 1920 but here there are so many stutters in between that it's just not playable I could play it on my notebook but I can't let's play it on my notebook because the fans are so loud I can't even play mouse and keyboard on my notebook there we had a little bit of a meshing glitch because my notebook heats up during games so goddamn hot that I can't even put my fingers on the goddamn keyboard so I'm kind of just pissed I took six dollar 10 days off to play Starfield and now I just have time to trash Starfield and nothing else to do besides trashing Starfield. And I recorded a video already where I talked about the problems and it got a lot of comments and views. Especially damn it, what the hell is that? So that's pretty much this video. Starfield runs good on my cheap notebook with everything worse quality wise. And it runs bad on my goddamn GeForce RTX 380 and the better processor. It were both on an SSD. The SSD on my notebook were cheaper and worse also. So it's not the better goddamn SSD. Also next to that, I didn't update my graphic drivers on my notebook and it still ran flawlessly your graphics drivers are out of date i got it every time i started it i tried it three times that's photoshopped a little bit so you can see better the text and that's pretty much my notebook specs well look at that and that's what i was rocking and it worked with Starfield. it worked with stuff i heard one rumor that because this game is so long in development and it works better with a lot of older cards which still is bonkers that's me checking this and making the screenshot a lovely picture I don't know I don't know okay I've pretty much shown you everything oh besides my human flag yeah human flag after my guard attack oh, first one after my guard attack which is pretty decent pretty goddamn decent Okay, I feel like there's nothing more to say besides I can't do the Starfield content I wanted to make but I'm still making random Starfield content and the Nexus page for Starfield is also exploding. Ah, ah. Starfield Nexus mods, there we go. How many mods? 203 mods. The biggest mods are the optimization here which gives you a little bit of fps boost but i uh, didn't do too much for me the optimized ultra medium settings and potato mode settings i tried that didn't give me what i need yeah, i guess if you have the lag on your system your system is just cursed and i went back to my cheaper pc notebook but a heart there's so many basic improvements that the game should have I would love a smart heart in most games where the heart disappears when you're not in combat. 
But most games don't have that. This, uh, for example. Damn, that makes a difference. Holy hell. Natural, neutral loots, no color filters. Jesus Christ, I didn't even see that yet. So, is it looking that? God damn, Bethesda loves the green filters. Holy hell. The hell is wrong with you, Bethesda? Oh no. Jesus Christ. I wanted to play this game, now I'm just trashing it. God, I can't wait for the Metacritic and Steam reviews when the game is officially out. A lot of FO goddamn V mods because they don't have FOV sliders, which would be, in my opinion, extremely important. I like playing at 100 to 110. The default is 70. Oh, I've heard people saying they got FOV sickness. Get away at. From the share FOV 3. But yeah, there's a lot of mods, at least out, if your game runs. But it's not gonna save you from this dull and lag. You have that you are apparently cursed. I don't think you can use a PS5 controller or a PS4 controller with Delphi that tried to plug mine in. Plug mine in. But it might just be Xbox controllers too. I didn't even Google that. Starfield PS4 controller. Controller. Let's see. Mm. Oh, there's there are fixes for that already. Ah. Oh. Okay, so it should probably work. That's the only way I can see myself playing that for myself on my goddamn notebook. That I hate. I hate it. I hate it. Anyways. Anything else? No. No. I don't know if I can give you more updates on the game. Probably just more ranting and hating it. The star feel a Russian roulette. Your PC? No, it's fine. No shot, no bullet. Your PC? Pff, dead. Won't work. No fixes. Deal with it. You paid 100 euros. F your refunds. You won't get one. I got one. But I believe that's a European thing most of the times. I don't Places are not that lucky. Mm. Peace out. Ah, oh, peace out.